Okay, it's okay. This meeting is in five ten. Okay, so I will start this uh, seminar. Yeah. Good afternoon, Pak Iwan, Susi, and all the students. Today we will have a seminar for Susi Banawati. And the seminar will be divided into the season. The first one is your presentation, Susi, yeah? for 10 up to 15 minutes, and then a review from Pak Iwan. Do you need something to say your prayer, Susi? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you did it. Yes, ma'am. I already pray. Okay, thank you. So now is uh, your part, yes, Susi? Yes, So time is yours. Thank Go you. On, Saya mohon maaf ya agak anu apa kadang pakai ini apa F of camera ya? Iya men, tidak apa. -apa. I want. I just want to make sure are everyone are able to see my screen now. Can you speak louder, please? Yes. Okay, Susie. Okay, uh, I will start. First, uh, the Honorable, the Examiner, Bapak Iwan Fauzi, SPDMA. Good afternoon. The Honorable, my first advisor, Ibu Dr. Andes Marilyn Simbolon, MPD. And my second advisor, Ibu Professor Dr. Maria Arina Waldini, MA. Good afternoon. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Susi Bonawati, and my student number is triple A one one eight zero zero three. Thank you for the opportunities that has been given to me to present uh, my proposal. Well, the title, An Analysis of Teacher's Questioning Strategies in Teaching Writing Short Story, a case to be at 11 grad SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya. Now is chapter one, introduction, 1.1 research background. Learning language. Uh, in learning language, there are four skills that learner must have. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Writing skills require significant linguistic competence, creativity, knowledge, and technique. Thus, now we can speculate 
on the most prevalent issues that learners have during the writing learning process. Many English foreign language students are said to struggle with writing. This is undeniably a difficult task for English foreign language teacher in reading class. There are four types of writing, exposition, argumentation, description, and narrative. Narrative is a storytelling. It's a storytelling involved uh, relating a series of events, usually in a chronological order. In this regard, uh, the reader contends that without critical thinking, even a student with excellent linguistic skills are unable to develop his thought into a legible uh, short story text. This indicates that one of the most important things for English foreign language teacher when teaching this type of writing to improve students' critical thinking skills. Teachers that have strategies can stimulate students to be more attractive in the classroom. The strategies can be used by the teacher to get information about what the student know and don't know about short story is questioning method. Questioning method before learning a short story is to give students more time to think about and understand what the teacher is asking about. The, the short story to give them the time to respond to the question. Based on the background above, the main problem of this research in order to get the data, the research formulate the problem above as follow. One, the, what are the questioning strategies used by the teacher in teaching writing short story? Two, what are, what are the teacher's purpose of using questioning strategies in teaching writing short story? And the last is how, the, how do the student perceive the teacher's use of questioning in teaching writing short story. Following those uh, research questions, the aim of this research to find out, first, the questioning strategies used by the teacher in teaching writing short story at SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya. And the second is on the teacher's use of questioning in teaching writing short story at SMA. Negeri Satu Palangkaraya. Uh, the significant, the significant of this research are highly considered to have both theoretical and part, part, and practical significance. Uh, first, theoretical. Uh, this research contributes to the theory of questioning and writing learning. And the second is practical significant for the student. Uh, the result of this research are supposed through the role of the teacher students asking strategies can be more active and class can be more effective. Researchers expect that learning short story in class will be enjoyable for all students. B, for, for the teacher, for English teacher, this research is expect to produce finding that become another reference for English foreign language teacher on how to use questioning effectively in teaching writing. And the last is for the researcher. Uh, this research may motivate uh, other researchers to investigate the same issues related to the implementation and development of teachers' questioning strategies in order to improve the quality of education in the future. And then one, 1 1.5 is the definition of keyword. Uh, first is questioning strategies are techniques uh, for asking students questions in order to get a goal in teaching writing short story. And second, uh, teaching writing short story is the introduction between the teacher and student that occur in classroom, sometimes discussing good, lit good literature and figuring out what makes it interesting or enjoyable. It also means helping a student in selecting writing topics depending on their personal interest. And then chapter two is literature review. Uh, 2.1 is concept and theory. Uh, there are uh, 2.1.1 is definition of questioning. Definition of questioning. 2.1.2 is definition of questioning strategies. 
2.1.3 is type of question strategies. 2.1.4 is the application of question strategies. 2.1.5 is definition of writing. 2.1.6 is teaching writing. And 2.1.7 is definition of short story. And 2.1.8 is perception. And then the 2.2 is previous study. Uh, the first is teacher questioning strategies to improve students' motivation in English classroom learning activity by Shafira Rahma, 2017. The purpose of the study is to find the teacher questioning teachers questioning strategies in English classes at SMP Negeri 8 Banda Aceh, as well as the improvement in students' motivation to learn English as a result of the teacher's questioning strategy. Second is teacher questioning strategies in teaching descriptive writing, a case study at SMA Negeri 28 Bona by uh, Sudirman, a uh, Sudirman S uh, 2019. The researcher focus. The researcher focus on the investigation of the teacher's questioning strategies in teaching descriptive writing and students' perception on the teacher's use of questioning in teaching descriptive writing. One of English foreign language teachers at the school was purposefully chosen as the subject and the data were obtained through a classroom observation and interview. The last is an analysis of teachers' questioning strategies during the classroom interaction by Ziara in 2020. Uh, the object of the study is the researcher just want to know what is questioning strategies that usually used by the teacher during the class during the class in 12th grade of Madrasa Alaya PKP Al Hidayah Jambi. And then 2.3 is framework. Uh, the, first the first procedure in conducting this research formulated the, that this is this research is formulated the data from teachers' questioning strategies. And then uh, and then investigate the type of teachers questioning based on Zitelman 2011. There are first lecture best questioning, fact best questioning, and thinking best questioning. And then the purpose of ask question, student perception in teacher's questioning in teaching, in teaching writing short story. After that, analyzing the result of observation and interview. The last procedure is making discussion and drawing conclusion based on research finding. And then chapter three, chapter three, research method. 3.1, research method. The researcher will use descriptive qualitative method, which aim to describe what teacher's questioning strategies used by the teacher in teaching short story and the student's perception of teacher's questioning toward of teaching short story at SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya. 3.2 is research setting and subject. The researcher will conduct the research will conduct at SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya. This school is located at Jalan Ais Nasution nomor 02 Palangkaraya. The subject of the research is one of one of the school's English foreign language teacher and five students of SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya. 3.3 is data collection technique. In collecting the data, the researcher employ two instruments. First is observation, non-participant observation. Researcher will use non-participant observational research, namely not directly involved with the activities of the student survey. Therefore, the researcher is only an observer. According to Sugiono, 2015. Second is interview. According to Ari Kunto, 2013, interview is a conversation that is used to get information from the person being interviewed. 
Interview is a method of assessing someone's condition, for example, to get information on student's history, parents, education, attention, and perspective. And then 3.4 is research instrument. The instrument will be used a structured interview by using 10 question for 10 question for interview the teacher and three question for interviewing the students. The researcher also use video recording for observation in the classroom. Documentation will use for completing the validity of this research and the objective of Observation here is question strategies that used by the teacher in the classroom. And 3.5 is procedure of data collection. In, collect, in collecting the data, the researcher will conduct through the following procedure. First is to make this research, this research easier and more successful. The researcher purpose, purposes to the teacher of SMA Negeri 1 Palangkaraya for helping and collaborate with researcher in conducting this research. Uh, second, give introduction and explain the research purpose to the teacher. The third is preparing instrument for observation and interviews like video, reco video recorder. Fourth is researcher attends the subject class and external observer. Uh, she is not involved in any activities held in the classroom during the teaching and learning process. Five is while observing, Researcher will record audio and fill out the observation field note based on what she found related on the teacher's question. And then researcher will interview the teacher. And then the last, the researcher will interview the student. Uh, 3.6 is the technique of data analysis. First is data reduction. In this step, the researcher focus on simplifying, abstracting, and modifying the hard data that will obtain. Uh, there are several methods to reduce and modify qualitative data, including selection, summary, and paraphrase. Uh, second is data display. In this step, the researcher will display the data to understand and to analyze uh, what will be happening with the data presented. <coughs> And the researcher will begin to do the next plan of, of the research based on what the researcher has experienced. Third is conclusion drawing. The researcher obtains to draw a conclusion and conduct verification by exploring for meaning of every single phenomena detected. Conclusion are verified on the analysis process. The last is verification. Uh, verification can be as simple as a flatting second toe, causing the analysis mind while writing uh, with a short visit back to the field note, or it can be more including with lengthy and lengthy argumentation and review among colleagues to develop inner subjective consequence or extensive effort to replicate a finding in other in another data set. And then 3.7 is trustworthiness. The trustworthiness of the data is in this research using the technique of triangulation. First is data triangulation. Uh, the data triangulation means that the researcher triangulates some sort of the data that will be obtained. It means that the researcher will collect the data from different data source. Second is methodology, method, methodological triangulation. Methodological triangulation means the researcher technique in collecting the data to obtain data validation. And then the third is theor theoretical triangulation refers to the triangulation process to use of some related theories by the researcher to validate the data of the research. Uh, the last is investigator triangulation. Triangulation. Investigator triangulation means to the researcher triangulate, triangul, triangulate the source of the data by checking the data to some expert to reach the data validation. Okay, that's all about my presentation and thank you very much for your nice attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, before we come to the reviewer, yeah, please say uh, not conduct but conduct. 
ya. terus worthiness trust worthiness masa bilang trust nggak bisa trust ya. I'm sorry you will be a sarjana of bahasa Inggris ya so not trust worthiness but trust worthiness oke okay, ibu Merlin will you be <laughs> because you are the, the first advisor you are still muted lanjut 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 oke okay. so we come to the review ya yeah? with the reviewer of uh, Bapak Iwan Fauzi time is yours Pak silahkan oke okay, thank you Bu Maria uh, selamat siang Ibu Merlin ini baru masuk nih kenapa Bimbing satu, kok, bimbing satu kok terakhir masuk guna ada ceritanya macet bro ada acara pernikahan oke okay. yes thank you Bu Maria and then Bu Merlin for inviting me to be a reviewer on this uh, proposal seminar yeah uh, Susi uh, just uh, I want to review some of your proposals yeah I'm not examining you but uh, just to review yeah because um I uh, yeah I'm sure that uh, you are um ex- adv- advised by two advisors here and then I, I I I yeah I'm sure that um they are good to advise you but I I just uh, give my comments uh, some on your thesis proposal here the first thing in the previous study uh Susi, yeah. So uh, here you review three previous study here, but um, I think you still miss the result of of uh, each previous study that you mentioned on on your proposal yeah, because um, I saw here uh, three studies. Uh, the first one is from Sarifa, and then the second one from Sudirman, and then the third one from Ziara. But you still forget, I think, to mention or to, to, to conclude about the studies and then what about the result about the studies in this uh, heading, in this uh, section, I think. Yeah. You should mention the result of uh, your studies. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, that's about, uh, yeah, I saw on the page number 23. Have you got it? Fit number twenty-three, uh, Susi. Yes, sir. Uh huh. In that case, I saw here the researcher observe observes missing S here. The, observe, the researcher observes question in the beginning of the lesson. Is it effective for the learner who are low ability in the subject matter? What does it mean by this sentence? I'm a little bit uh, confused with this, and then not uh, fully under, understood about this. The page number 23. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's here. I, I, I think uh, I, I cannot understand about this sentence. Yeah. Maybe you, you have your own uh, perspective about this sentence. I don't know. Uh, uh, I think I just... Uh, Here I want to say I just uh, want to analyze the appreciation question from the beginning of the teaching of learning processor. Uh-huh. So that is But why. What about the low ability, low ability students, low ability students? You mean in the subject matter? Uh... I, I think I didn't catch the idea what you what you mean here. Yeah, that's uh, maybe my questions. Uh, maybe you can make a clearer about this sentence. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What do you want to say here? Uh, it mean uh, the question in the beginning of the lesson. The lesson uh, in the appreciation are the question is uh, are the question is uh, build maintain. I mean, simulate the students' critical thinking. Uh, mm-hmm. At first, they don't know they they want to learn about 
short story and after mm. the, the teacher using questioning strategies and after the teacher using the questioning strategies the student will know the what they will they what yeah. they will learn about what they you have yes you ha- yeah you have a very very long and very clear uh explanation about that but uh, you still write down here some things ambiguous yes you may you may revise this sentence yeah, to make it clearer yeah okay. in order to make the reader uh, uh, get more mm-hmm. what uh, your ideas want to say on this uh, paragraph yeah okay. okay and then yes here uh, okay on the page number 24 it is uh, what is it interview yeah Interview is a technique, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the people who will be interviewed by the researchers are one English teacher and five students. Five students. Why only five students, Susi? I prefer you ask all students, maybe by questionnaire rather than, than, uh, rather than uh, interview some only. Yeah. Because I think if five students uh, it's not represents all uh, students' opinions, yeah, okay. I think, yeah. Mm. Why, why, why only five students you interview? Uh, because uh, uh, I want, I only just want to know the perceptions, sir. So I think uh, only five students is enough for me. Uh, it's like the other preview study. Uh, uh-huh. There are uh, using five, fifteen student or five student. Mm, ada okay. yang enggak, ya, jadi ada, jadi di pro, Previous study itu ada yang pakai 15 orang siswa saja dan pakai lima orang siswa. Jadi saya pikir uh, ya. It's okay, ya yeah, it's okay. But uh, no no, this is um, this is my suggestion or my recommendation. If you want to find out the feedback from the teachers' uh, questioning strategies, ya yeah, okay. what the student what the students' uh, perception about that, you may you may ask them by yeah, not interview all student, but uh, getting. Uh, what is it? Uh, information from the student by using questionnaire, for example. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, better. Yeah, for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you interview all the students, it it, it needs uh, more times, and then also you can uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know whether you you can uh, make it for all students that you can interview one by one. But the the, the easy way to To find out the information from the students, you may get uh, from the questionnaires, and then the, the questionnaire also represent the perception of the students. Yeah, that, that that's my suggestion. You may, if if your uh, advisor can 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 uh, set this. Yeah, but that, that's only my recommendation or my suggestions. Yeah, because um from that questionnaire, you may find out uh, the if the the what is it the feedback from. the students yeah about the teachers questioning strategy yeah that's only my 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 suggestions not okay. not limited to the five students yeah i prefer you ask all students by questioner for example yeah not for by interview but by, by, by questioners yeah. okay yeah that's uh, uh about uh, how to collect the data i did the instrument of your research And then also here, research instrument, I saw is it here. The research instrument will be used structure interview by using 10 questions for interview the teacher and three questions for interviewing the student. I think three questions are not enough to explore your data, what you want, yeah. Therefore, I suggest you make it in, in, in to make a questionnaire to find the data feedback from the students about the teacher question strategies, yeah. So if you just only interview the, 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 the students only by the three questions, yeah, that is also it's not representative also for your, your information about the teacher strategies. Yeah. Again, I suggest you yeah, to what is it to develop your, your questions, uh, maybe 10 questions or 15 questions, but in the form of the questionnaire. Yeah. And then to cover all the students uh, from your uh, subject of your research yeah that's only my my suggestions hello susie do yes, you hear me yes sir yes sir okay. i hear you 
and then yeah that's uh, only from the what is it from the contents and then from the reference here i found whether i don't know whether you list all autos you mentioned on chapters yeah because i saw on your chapters uh, there are so many autos you quote yeah and then when i saw on the reference uh, there are only few you write down here yeah so i i i yeah I suggest you not suggest, yeah, but this is uh, precisely you should mention all uh, authors uh, that you mentioned on the chapters, and then you should list on your reference. Yeah, are you sure you have uh, list all authors you mentioned on chapters on this reference? No. No, sir. Okay, and then also I I what is it? I suggest you use the. Have you ever heard about APA style on your? On your Microsoft Office? No, I haven't heard about it before, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, to make sure all of your code on your on your body of your writing, you may uh, input the I I input the styles of APA on your mm -hmm. uh, body writing. Then it will be automatically uh, mm -hmm. put in the reference. Yeah. I think yeah, Bu Maria know about this more much. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Pak Iwan. Sorry, Pak Iwan. I interrupt uh, this uh, this question. So, uh -huh. so, which uh, who do you who did uh, what is it teach you the scientific writing? Scientific writing, yeah. Uh, Memoir. Mm. Memoir. You teach you mainly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you may also install Mendeley yeah, to make your reference more accurate. Yeah. 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 So, okay. yeah, sometimes uh, students uh, may be a little bit difficult for them to, to have Mendeley because um, they should, uh, what is it, install the application. However, mm -hmm. yeah, however, we have actually on our, our uh, office, work office, yeah, we, we have uh, APA style. Uh, for yes. for the the most uh, the, the the easy way to input our authors in the reference, yeah, that's the easy way to 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 write down the reference. If if not, you have uh, the Mendeley versions, yeah, I think. And no, no, I just I just want to make sure that all of the authors you mentioned on the chapters, yeah, include on the reference. That's the way the easy way to to make it, yeah. If but if you want to do just. Uh, if not, yeah, the consequence, the consequence, uh, you, you must check one by one of the authors you wrote on the body writing. <laughs> that's that's uh, the consequence of uh, if you do not use the the what is it like Mendeley, like APA on the office work, yeah, just check one by one, yeah, and then put in on your reference, yeah. That's uh, the consequence of uh, not to use such uh, application, I think. Susi, yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, I am here, sir. You got my point? Yes, 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 sir. Okay. And then again, in the body of your writing, you should not write all autos name if more than two, yeah. Yeah, you just write name, uh, for example, uh, Brown et al. Something. Not, not, not to mention all the names, yeah. Yeah. But you must write them on uh, your reference list, yeah. For example, if you have three autos, yeah, not to mention on the body of writing, but mention it them on, 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 on the reference, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bona, uh, sorry, Susi. Yes, sir. Okay, and, and yeah, just review your writing. I, I didn't I, I didn't blame you. I yeah, just, just review your writing. And then here the reference do not mention like this. See your reference here. Guest lecture associate. I don't know what, what is, is it is it the people names? Guest lecture asok in Sarifah Rahma. What is it in Sarifah Rahma? On your reference here. So this is also not common on the reference writings, yeah. Do not mention to quote someone in one quote, in the other quote, something like that. You just mention the thesis learning activities, just mention the names of Sarifa or Rahma, yeah. Yeah? Uh, 
uh, Susi. And then the last one, never mention two names on, I mean, uh, because uh, uh, the author's name, we have uh, the first name and then the second name. Never mention two names on the, on the, on the reference. Yeah. For example, here, uh, Hermer Jeremy. Yeah. We just say Hermer or Jeremy. Yeah. Hermer G or Jeremy uh, or, or Hermer G or G, uh, Jeremy H. Jeremy H, something like that. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I have uh, give you the, 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 the notes here. Yeah, I may send you the files for you. Okay, that's uh, my review and then my comments from my review about this, uh, your proposal. I, I think your, your idea and then your topic is good. Yeah, just to develop with uh, your, your advisor to make, make it a uh, good result of your research. Next. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, for Thank you very much, Pak Iwan. For me. Thank you very much, Pak Iwan, for okay. your review. So, um, Susi, yeah, as I told for the students, yeah, uh, whether they have mainly or just manual from APA, yeah, not an APA, I think that's the reference, yeah, reference in, in your menu, yeah. In the computer menu, there is reverence, and then you put over there, yeah. Uh, but one is right, yeah, that it is, uh, what is it? The aim is to elimination, yeah, to delimit, yeah, to delimit the, what is it? The reverence that you didn't put in the reverence. Yeah, the name that you didn't put in the reference. Okay, thank you very much. Ibu Merlin, will you say something to Susi? Come on, Ibu. Di sini hujan sangat deras. Saya percayakan, Bu Maria, silahkan. Okay, thank you. So, Susi, yeah, if you cannot get the point from uh, Pak Iwan or the review, yeah, the reviewer. So just, uh, what is it? Hear it from the record or from the live streaming, yeah? I sent, I sent the copy of uh, what oh, I, I have already wrote or have they already gave the, the notes for, for Susi Ibu Maria. Yeah, thank you very much, Pak Iwan. Okay, yeah. yes. So just have a look to the Every notes, yeah, not only yeah. some okay. of the notes, every notes from uh, the reviewer. Yeah, so thank you very much, Pak Iwan, again, and Ibu no Ben, and also of, uh, all of the students. For the students, do you have any question to Susi Banawati or maybe to three of us here? Any question? Students? Oi. Gak ada yang muncul mereka. <laughs> Oke, okay. uh, Susi have a great uh, presentation. Hmm, good. So it is like support, ya, yeah? from Ratna to Susi. Thank you, Ratna. So I think it is uh, the end of the seminar, ya, yeah? and you have uh, two weeks, ya, yeah? for the revision, and after you revise your proposal, ya. Yeah? You come to the reviewer, Pak Iwan, and then after Pak Iwan give you the score, you can come to both of us, yeah, Bu Merlin and me. Okay? So thank mm -hmm. you very much for all of us. Yeah, say, so goodbye. Ma'am. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome. Apa? Let's uh, screenshot. I'll screenshot. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. Cheers. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, one more. One more now. One, two, three. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Pak Iwan. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. Ibu Merlin. Thank you. Pak Iwan. Terima kasih. Ayo, sakit. Ya, selamat Susi. Congratulations, Susi. Congratulations, Susi. Congratulations, Susi. Love you, Susi. Mantap, Susbon. Terima kasih.